Hi there. This is the Dr. Meter laser distance meter DM50 model. It reads up to 150 meters and there's a few things you might want to know about this. All right, first thing, it does take accurate measurements. I've checked it against many, many surfaces and distances and it's okay with one anomaly. Well, I have one anomaly against the surface that has a very dark matte finish and the reading came off about three quarters of an inch off. Don't know why, and I was only reading 30 inches. Uh, other than that, it read good everywhere else uh, with the plus or minus deviation of approximately 1.5 millimeters. Okay, first problem uh, that we're going to encounter when you get the doctor meter meter here, uh, laser meter, is uh, right here on the back. Well, aside from the fact that batteries just want to pop out of there, uh, these are AAA batteries is this other feature here and that has to do with the tether the tether hooks on right there and it is so flush with the actual case that it offers little to no resistance in the event that you're the kind of person that uses tethers uh, around your wrist now you can snap this on make sure it's on everywhere nice and solid just like i just did here it's on there okay it's on there now let's say you're up on some scaffolding whatever you're using it bang it comes off that's it came off that quickly now it's still in one piece it just slid off here so doctor meter people pay attention fix that people rely on these things and if this fell from scaffolding under somebody's head you could really hurt them aside from the fact that you're going to destroy your device okay that being said you can turn it on in two places either here or here and let's do that and i'll tell you a little bit more turning it on defaults to two different things right off the bat first reads off the base of the unit outward and you can change that by pressing this repeatedly it'll change from the base mode to the tip mode to the extension mode all right now it the instructions tell you to then uh, point at something and hit it and you can take a measurement right off the bat from the base of the unit to whatever in this case it's the wall that's the reading and it's in metric all right that being said it's a little confusing because this icon and let me show you the screen times out after 10 seconds right here tap that okay this little icon right there is the same icon that is on this button right here and when you change other things on the screen the icons appear so when that icon's there you think that this button is active this button is for continuous measurement that's not active that is on screen but it is not active and that's kind of weird so uh, if you want it to be on, you have to press the continuous measurement button. The icon is still there, but now it says minimum and maximum on the screen. And of course, the device is going crazy as it can be because it's taking measurements as I move it around. Uh, it's continuously taking measurements all the way down the line here. All right. And that's what it will do. And that's what it's supposed to do. And it's taking good, accurate measurements. So that being said, I think they could clarify what's going on with that icon because it is a continuous measurement icon and it and it does read uh, continuous measurement but it also confuses you uh, at least it confuses me so to turn off the mode you simply press one of these two buttons it'll turn it off it'll hold your reading but the icon still stands except for the minimum maximum and these other icons uh, here are for square foot and you take a measurement in one direction and bang in another direction and uh, bingo you got your measurements same thing over here uh, these are uh, pythagore theorem measurements two point measurement there this one's for three point measurements now all of these features work great history uh, brings up the last 20 readings that you had on the device it'll continuously store up to 20 readings if you don't like it in uh, meters or metric which is default by the way and every time you turn it off it's always going to default back to metric you simply long press this button and it changes over and it changes over and it changes over and it changes over until you recycle all the way back and that's what it'll do aside from those two little weird issues it does take accurate readings it's uh, fairly sturdy it's rubberized and plastic uh, in the blue parts here it can be read under good uh, decent lighting conditions and uh, you can always have the uh, backlight by pressing the button for 10 seconds another little weird feature is it tells you that when you're in continuous reading mode it'll uh, turn off continuous reading mode in five minutes however it also tells you that the device powers down in three minutes so what it does is the continuous reading mode overrides that three minute feature 
and it, if you just put it on the counter, it'll run for five minutes, and it'll just keep playing dick, 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 you know, and reading all kinds of stuff. And then if you still forget about it, it'll it'll turn off that mode, and then three minutes later, it will turn off the entire unit. Otherwise, in any other mode, it will turn off the unit in three minutes flat, save you on some battery power in case you just happen to lay it down. So there you go. There's a few little weird things about it, but as a whole, it is an accurate meter, and I think you'll probably enjoy it. So good luck, and have fun with it.